Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another sneaker review video. I hope you guys like the background. I don't know why, but in my head, like it looked a lot better. I think I'm going to do some more rearranging. Um, I'm going to have it where I got me a seat. And then it overall, it's like just the shoes and it ain't a closet and walls and stuff. Like I'm, I don't know why I'm like looking over there at the um, laptop, but camera's right here. Okay, I got to gotta remember that but i'm just hoping that my because this laptop has been acting weird so i don't i don't know but anyways um so i had picked these shoes up like right before quarantine and i don't think i made a video on them yet if i did i did if i didn't i didn't um i think i did but i just didn't upload it but anyways i'm going to be reviewing the nike adapt bb 2.0s now I had picked these shoes up right before like all this quarantine stuff, staying indoors, all that stuff had happened. And uh, yeah, it was so backstory. So I was in there. I was going to try because I think they had like a size nine. And so I was going to try out the size nine to see how they fit. Like if it was like a like kind of like a Timberland shoe or if it was going to be in uh, like a true to size shoe. So I asked anyways, I asked if they had a 10. Just to like, you know, be sure and things. Because there's times where I went into other shoe stores and they didn't uh, overall have... Hold on for a second because my light... I forgot, like my... Twisted my light and it ain't overall facing me, but... Okay, there we go. A little, a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter. But anyways, so I go in there, ask for a size 10. They didn't have a size 10. They had a size 10 and a half. So I was just like, cool, like let me try on the 10 and a half. It fit perfectly so if you are thinking about buying these shoes definitely go up maybe half a size um go up half a size or you can go up a whole size but i think the recommended um probably size would probably be like a 0.5 size higher and stuff so anyways <clears throat> so i buy these shoes i'm asking the uh i'm asking the uh nike person about them because it was like i've never seen these shoes before like i remember when the other uh adapt shoes that came out then the air mags and then all the other self lacing nike shoes but i didn't get to see these ones like i remember i think i could have gotten the original um the first ones that came out but at the actually no no i don't think it was those it was some other self lacing nike shoes that had came out and i remember i was in the uh nike store in oregon and seeing them and was or seeing that they were promoting them so they Probably might have not even came out yet, or they might have already been out. But anyways, besides that, so anyways, um, I'm in the uh, store talking to the lady, and I knew I was going to buy them. I knew I was going to buy them despite the price. Uh, Yeah, these shoes is very pricey, $400, just because of like all the technology that comes with this shoe. It's I'll get into that, but anyways, yeah, it's a pretty expensive shoe. But I think nobody, I don't even know if they had anybody else buy any of the uh, um any of these shoes and stuff because they were all surrounding me like we were all talking about this shoe seeing how it operated seeing how it worked and stuff and that's when i that's when i knew i was gonna buy these shoes as soon as i put the shoe on it had already started lacing up a little bit so i thought that was pretty dope and i was just like oh yeah like this shoe loves me i'm like why would this shoe just start hugging my feet and i don't even know like i ain't never came across this shoe before so anyways i was just like oh yeah i'm definitely buying these so, uh, and this is like when I was still working at my job and things. So I'm walking all the way to my job. My coworker is all like, you didn't buy those shoes. I'm like, no, I did. I did. I definitely, <laughs> I was all like, look, we're not doing anything today. I'm like, we might, I might as well like live it up a little bit. So yeah, I was wanting to wear these shoes so much. Cause my, like me and this uh, coworker, we we're always talking about my shoes and stuff. And I really wanted to show him these shoes but I got laid off, so therefore I couldn't uh, overall show them and things. But I think next time, if it's a sunny day, and it, and it was like, I had all these days so I can wear these shoes, but it rained every single day. And the reason why I didn't wear these is because these shoes are not water resistant or waterproof. I had asked a uh, Nike tech guy on Twitter, and he said that these shoes are not designed to be out in rain conditions. But it can be outside. I did wear these shoes outside. Uh, just definitely be careful around your surroundings, making sure nobody ain't got like no open drinks and they look like a type of person that trip and fall. But anyways, um, so yeah, these shoes are not water resistant or waterproof, but I did wear these shoes a crap ton around my house because I was like, okay, if I can't wear them outside, I'm definitely going to wear them around the house. So yeah, I was wearing them around the house. It doesn't even seem like a, it's a shoe that would break in. Like it's going to like 
you know, be all squishy and things. It just, the sole of the shoe is actually, it's already comfortable. It kind of, how can I, it feels like, like maybe it's just like some like Nike Zoom material, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, because it says Zoom on the side. So yeah, it's the sole of the shoe. I think it's like primarily like Zoom material, but it also, I think it has like the motor and the self-lacing technology at the bottom of the shoe. So yeah, therefore it's like, it can't be all squishy and things. Otherwise you're going to probably mess up all the technology in the inside. But um, also the tongue is, excuse me, the tongue is uh, reflective. If y'all can see that, let me go in a little bit closer. Why does it look like all oh, laggy and things? Dang, I didn't want it to look like, man, I was like, man, maybe I should use my iPhone. I might use my iPhone to record any future. If I'm going to do it in this settings and stuff, yeah, I might have to use my iPhone. But anyways, um, tongues reflective, wearing them around the house. Then the also, the next cool thing about this shoe, oh yeah, then the uh, sides, they uh, light up. Y'all probably can't even see that. Let me, let me have it a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, so y'all seen that. All right, but... Let me get my phone out to show y'all the really dope feature about this shoe. I find the app. So anyways, so here's the Nike Adapt app. Uh, have it in a little bit more closer. And if you switch, I don't know which one is this. This is the left one. Okay, so the, the left one, hold on, let me get more in the camera shot. Come on, just... And it laces up from your phone. That is probably the dopest thing ever. That is seriously the dopest thing ever. So I definitely was doing that a crap ton of times. And then it's like, it ain't even set up to where um, you have to like just go directly off of You can like, if you know, if you don't feel like bringing your phone out, you got my, got your phone in your backpack. You got the buttons right here to, uh, to unlace the shoes. And yes, it makes that noise every single time. And um, it also comes with a charging pad, USB cable to plug in the wall for the charging pad, and yeah, then the shoes itself. So um, the box is huge. Let me just show y'all the box real quick. The box is crazy huge. First, I got to clean it off. Like, I did wear these shoes outside once. This is the box. This box is huge, man. This is like an Xbox or a PlayStation box or something, but anyways um yeah it's actually these shoes are really nice i really do like these shoes um it just sucks that they're not like waterproof or water resistant because i would have definitely worn these shoes outside i was like i was thinking about it i kept looking it up and things to see if they are but i talked to a nike guy and he was saying that these shoes is not designed for uh being outside when it's raining and things so do not do that otherwise you're going to probably mess up because yeah the motor is at the bottom so you're going to most likely mess up the motor and things but um anyways uh yeah definitely go out got um copy a pair of the nike adapt bb 2.0s they came out in like multiple colors these are the only colors that was available but or this was the only color that was available at the time but then came out with like a white one and then they're also coming out with like an air max uh um adapt shoe and stuff self-lacing shoe so uh yeah did i mention that these shoes are self-lacing so anyways um i think that's i think everybody that knows about this shoe if you did not know that it was self-lacing then yeah i just feel like i didn't even say that in this video so therefore i had to say it i had to say it. but anyways what would i review this shoe i will probably give this a 9 out of 10 probably the reason why it wouldn't be a, it would have been a perfect 10 out of 10 if it was waterproof if it was waterproof, I'm like, yeah, this is a perfect 10 out of 10 shoe. But I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it like a like a nine point, I'm gonna give it like a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 right on um, five out of 10. I feel like it's reasonable. Cause it it overall is a nice shoe. I like how it looks. I usually don't like all black shoes, but this shoe fits. It's it's a no, it's a shoe that I like. So, anyways, it's very, very comfortable. We can wear these a lot. Um and yeah, I would imagine you can't wear them a lot and stuff because it's like if you're going to be wearing these in the basketball court, you're going to be running back and forth. Most likely if you got these, you acquired these shoes and you like be playing basketball a lot, most likely you're going to be running around, jumping and all this stuff. So I feel like that these shoes, these can be considered as like a walking or a casual shoe because um, yeah, all the I think all the other ones are and stuff. So yeah, there's nothing uh, crazy about it. But anyways, go out, buy your pair of these. These uh, cost retail. These cost... Let me check real quick. Four hundred dollars, but I think after tax, I ended up spending uh four hundred and forty dollars. So, 
Anyways, go out and buy you a pair of the uh, Nike Adapt BB 2.0s. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and peace.